Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything in your life is good. Today is going to be a little bit different because we have work to do and this isn't actually on today. <laughs> um, testing out the lav mic. I have a wireless lav. I've had it for a while and the reason is I want to get rid of this table. Uh, I've had this table since I moved in, I guess. Um, it was just a quick, simple bench because I didn't have a lot of space to work in here and I needed something that I could roll out of the way because we were parking in here. So um, a friend had given me this top and I just kind of threw this base together real quick for this top. And the problem is this top is not I don't know how obvious that is. This top's not flat. And it's solid oak. It's like an oak butcher block top. Oh, I thought I had all the screws out. I thought this was going to be like a big reveal, like I lift it off and we're done. But apparently I don't have all the screws out. Um, this is like an oak butcher block. And it's just, you know, bowed. They do that. <laughs> so... I want to replace this with just some MDF. Also, this top is a little, like, it's right at three feet. And, hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm worried that, well, I'm not worried, but it's right at three feet. The frame underneath is 33 inches. So I've only got, like, an inch and a half of overhang on each side for clamping, which is normally okay, but this has like a rounded profile and I'm just gonna get it off of here and then I'll show you. Okay. So this is, I hope you can see that, pretty thick, probably an inch and a half thick, butcher block style top. Uh, ugh. The grain is all this, or the boards are all oriented in this direction, and it's just not flat. And as I'm going to be doing quite a bit of furniture work here very, very soon, I need a flat surface. Now, the other thing is, is this base flat? And I'm going to guess, probably not. I made this out of um, some scrap. Two by six, the same stuff that I made this bench out of, which was a porch um, roof on my boss's old house, and some scrap two by fours I found in the construction pile down here. Um, the construction workers who have been building this development have always told me if there's anything in the piles, I can take it. So I found some two by fours down there and I took it. So what I first need to figure out is, is this base anywhere near flat? And if it is, then I already have sheets of MDF cut to put on it. They're just four foot. So that's a, honestly a little too big for this space. I really only want about three inches of overhang on each side. So I'm going to kind of put it on here offset and then cut it. But step one is figuring out if this top is flat. There's a few ways you can go about doing that. Um, if I was thinking straight, I would have had it all out and ready to go before I got you down here. One way, or got the camera on, one way is to take a piece of string and run it from corner to corner, and another piece of string from another corner to corner and see if they meet. And if they do, it's flat. But that's, that can be misleading. Um, I've seen people use that method quite a bit when doing um, flattening jigs for planing, and it works if the material that you're working with is known heights and distances. If there's any variance, it, it's not really that accurate. What is very accurate though, is the human eye. And often you will see um, seasoned woodworkers use 
something that's called twist sticks, which would be a stick, two of them, and you can put it on a surface and then sight across it. And your eye will pick up any variations in the levelness of that. So I'm actually gonna cut this in half real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have two sticks. They are the exact same thickness, this was ripped on my table saw, that I can put across my top here and sight across. Now, I wanna reiterate the thing with the strings. The string thing works to tell you that the four, corner, the four corners are um, accurate. The problem is with something like this, I'm securing this table in more than just four corners and these boards are not flat in any way, shape, or form, you know, vertically. So if I'm relying on just the corners, and then I go to screw down my piece of MDF, it's gonna give. And MDF doesn't wanna give. That's part of the reason why I'm switching to MDF. It's very stable and solid material. But in order for me to be able to secure it to this base, uh, I need to make sure that this top is flat. And once that happens, I can go ahead and put the tabletop on. So I'm going to put a stick, uh, and you're not going to be able to see that. One stick across these co corner posts, one stick across back here. And I've actually got a high spot here, so I'm going to set my stick on the highest possible spot. I need to make sure it's not rocking. That means that this is the highest spot, and I don't want that either. I want the highest spot across the corners. Uh, these posts are definitely my highest spot and now to simply all you have to do is bend down and look across this from it doesn't even have to be very far away and no surprise this isn't even close to flat so if I was to screw down my MDF right now it's going to be wonky and that's what I don't want I, I want a flat surface for when I'm assembling these cabinets when I did the drawer for my friend uh, Mike a couple weeks ago. I did it on this table and it was kind of difficult to assemble. And even doing the um, storage boxes were they were difficult to assemble because the table wasn't flat. So I really gonna have to put some time and effort into making this thing flat. And for that, I'm gonna use the belt sander we just got. So I'm gonna put it to the test before I tear it down and rebuild it. I am going to tear it down and rebuild it or just, just touch it up. It doesn't really need anything major. Um, but with that, I should be able to get at least some degree of accuracy here so that I can then mount my MDF. But I just wanted to show you how this table was made. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to do this all on camera because it is uh, thunderstorming right now and there's a whole bunch of thunderstorm warnings and I wanted to get this done before my power goes out because it usually does. So, um, yeah. Hopefully this audio sounds okay with the lav mic. I haven't used it in this capacity in a long time. And um, if all goes well, I will have this table done tomorrow and or tonight, and I'll be able to start working tomorrow on furniture projects. So I'm excited about that. But for now, thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from ASCAR Online. How long do crows live in the wild? In captivity, both crows and ravens have been known to live for about 30 years, tops. In the wild, the average lifespan of a crow, seven to eight years.